we are in Dover Delaware we just got here yesterday and we're sitting inside and I'm showing Leslie a video that I just finished editing because we always watch them before we upload them to make sure everything's good and these birds are flying from this direction and they fly this way and we can see them out the window and BAM one of the birds flies right into the RV like full steam BOW and I'm fully expecting to come outside and find a dead bird or a dying bird but there was no bird so <laughs> from the evidence on the RV I'm assuming he didn't hit head on he realized he was about to impact the RV and turned and hit <laughs> the side of his body with the RV and what leads me to believe that is this <laughs> he had to have flown and hit like sideways here and totally <laughs> he knocked it out of himself <laughs> Well, it's good to know that he didn't die, though. That would have been sad. Today we're at Pickering Beach. Yep. This is one of the uh, beaches that has the most densely populated horseshoe crabs. The sanctuary. For them. Yeah, they do their breeding here, and there's just a ton of them all over the place. Mm -hmm. They get washed up. Sometimes they get flipped upside down and get stuck and die as the tide comes in. Yeah. And the horseshoe crabs are a little creepy looking. They kind of have a shell, but they got the little creepy looking things. And they yeah, they yeah, like, look like hard shell stingrays. They do. That's what they look like. Yeah. Um, so weird. we'll walk down the beach and see if we can see any. And if we see any that are alive and stuck upside down, maybe we can flip a couple and save them. Yeah. This guy's still alive, but he's flipped upside down. So I'm gonna go flip him back and hopefully he'll be okay. I know, right. <laughs> he's get soaked. Mm. There's another one coming up right there. He's good to go. <laughs> he's taking off. That's awesome. how big these jokers get this is just uh just the shell now because he's been dead for a while and the birds have eaten out all the insides but that's a big that's horseshoe crab chase so the problem with these guys is they got all their legs and stuff up here and down here is where their lungs would be and so they're trucking along and a wave hits them and flips them over up onto the onto the beach and the birds immediately go for the lungs because it's like the exposed tissue all this stuff is like hard shells hard to get to they immediately like eat their lungs and if they don't get flipped back over the right side real quick and get back into the water the birds are just gonna eat them up so you can see like miles of beach out here with just shells everywhere so they get flipped especially during the high tide they get flipped over the water will go back out and then the birds just feast on the on the crabs crazy what you can see behind us there is just miles and miles of shells yeah of dead horseshoe crabs it's sad it is sad we saved like two or three yeah today uh -huh. so it's lucky for them we came to the beach today <laughs> they got to live a little longer 
Yeah. They but love it, to see another high tide. Yeah. <laughs> it is really super easy. You just flip them over and then they just take right back off yeah. if they're still alive. But like I said earlier, the problem is they flip and then the birds just go. You get them. So you almost have to be like right there when they're flipping. Yeah. To save them because the rest of them are just. And then once the lungs are eaten out, then the, tide, the high tide just brings them up. All the way Onto up. this yeah. dark, dark area you see back here. And then they just say that, sit there and decompose. And yeah. then all the little bugs and critters eat the rest of them. And then they just become like shells. shells. Yeah. They're like army tip helmets. Like, they do look they, like <laughs> army helmets. Because yeah. you tap on it, it's just like a metal army hat. Yeah. I mean, uh, but they're really cool, cool animals. And yeah. supposedly they have some kind of a, um, something in their blood that's related Copper. to. Copper. Yeah. Copper uh, infused blood. Yeah, so they, they test their blood on a lots of different products and medications. Vaccines. And vaccines. So, yeah, um, it helps humans yeah. to test their blood first to see how it reacts because it reacts similar to how human blood would react. But just very cool, interesting stuff. And this, never seen anything like this on a beach before. Mm -mm. So, super, super cool. Yes. Thank you, Sherry, for bringing us yeah, here. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really And we hope you enjoyed seeing all the yeah. horseshoe crabs. Today we are at the Air Mobility Command Museum on Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Mm -hmm. I wish we could go inside. I know. Can't go inside because of the Rona, but there <laughs> are uh, lots of really cool aircrafts out here. Yeah. We just saw Air Force Two, which is way over there, <laughs> which is the Vice President's aircraft. Sure. And that one, of course, is retired. <laughs> Well, behind us is the Nightingale, mm -hmm. a fixed wing uh, medevac aircraft. And they're always interesting to me because I was a medic. Yeah. I wasn't medical in the Air Force, but I was a medic and never got to fly on a fixed wing medevac aircraft. But they were pretty cool to see. And um, we've seen several of these now. We've seen one. Yeah. At. Um, Lackland. Lackland, yeah. But we've never been able to see inside of one other than pictures. Yeah. So I wish that we could go inside and see one because they said that this thing can hold up to 40 uh, litter patients mm -hmm. or a combination of litter mm -hmm. and, and ambulatory staff. patients. Yeah. yeah. And staff. Um, so it would have been really cool to see inside of this. And, yeah. uh, but, I mean, and some of these have, have stairs up to them where you could, could see them on a on normal, a normal day. day. Yeah. But this one doesn't even have that. No. It doesn't. So we're gonna have to find somewhere. Somebody's in the US gotta have a medical plane that we viewable. can see inside. Yeah. Somebody. If you know of a fixed wing <laughs> medevac aircraft somewhere in the United States that you can see inside of, please let us know because we want to go, go see go. one. <laughs> Behind us is the C-133 Bravo, and it was one of the biggest cargo aircrafts that was ever in service in the Air Force. Yeah. They only made 50 of these. Mm -hmm. They didn't fly so well. Yes. Nine of them crashed. Yeah. Out of the 50. But the Air Force kept using them for it 12 years. <laughs> up to 2009. That yeah. blew my mind. And interestingly so the um one of the directors here came and talked to us and gave us a quick little yeah, fact cut. yeah that when this thing stalled out it had a tendency of rolling yes like <laughs> apparently i guess regular planes where they stall they Nose down. now this one turns over yeah like a turtle on its back <laughs> yeah it's crazy so they made a a minor <laughs> modification and it's which only 11 inch modification you won't believe it's crazy this what, modification it's crazy what 11 inches will do <laughs> that's what she said 
<laughs> I mean, for that big of a plane, like. Yeah, this little metal strip can cause it to not flip when it stalls. Yeah, it's insane. I don't even know how they figured out that, that would yeah. work. Yeah, God bless engineers. I mean, that's just. <laughs> Crazy. But there's a lot of great aircrafts out here. It's super hot. Um, yeah, it so is. probably lots of B-roll of just cool aircrafts. Well, we just had another bird fly directly into the RV, like bam, right here. And now he's right here. Um, he's awake and he's chirping a little bit. But he's got to be really dazed because he's letting me get really close to him. I don't want to spook him off too much because I'm not sure if he can fly properly. But um, I'll show him to you real fast. You okay, buddy? You all right? I don't think he's got any broken wings or legs or anything. I think he just hit his head so hard that he's just, he's just stunned. I'm, it looks like he doesn't even know where he's at. But it didn't break his neck because he would obviously be dead. And Leslie's gonna try to pick him up. We'll see what happens. I know. Today we are at the state capital of the very first Park. state. Like ever. <laughs> like ever. <laughs> yeah, state capital of uh, Delaware. Very cool. Beautiful building. Beautiful city. It is a very beautiful city and, and a lot smaller than I thought it was going to yeah. be. But very quaint, quiet, easy to get easy around. To get around. Today we are at the John Dickinson Plantation. Yes. What do you know about Mr. Dickinson? <laughs> like <laughs> I know this, but there was a lot to retain. We just read a lot yeah. about him. So he but was- he's, he's a part of the founding people. Yeah, he was actually one of the founding fathers but, of the United States and the original colonies. Um, he was a member of the first Continental Congress he was one of the wealthiest guys in, yeah. in America at first. He lived in Philadelphia and Wilmington, Delaware, mostly. And, but he did have a house down here and a plantation down here. Um, but he was involved in writing a lot of the petitions to the king of Britain. Yeah, they call him like the penman. He yeah, because he was more like a negotiator yeah. between the continental con uh, colonies and Britain, mm -hmm. um, trying to negotiate... Uh, the independence of the of the colonies and then when it didn't work out then he just drafted up for something for Thomas Jefferson saying hey this we need to go to war now yeah so it's a big he's a big part of history yeah uh, I hadn't really heard a lot about him I remember studying a little bit about him in history in school but not a lot of the details yeah it was um, touched upon we have to wear a mask everywhere we go here today inside and out it doesn't matter so as soon as we start this we'll have to wear a mask so we won't be vlogging a lot yeah if any so you'll get to see some b-roll <laughs> that'd be fun yeah roll the b-roll <laughs> roll that beautiful b-roll footage there you go <laughs>
I think what everyone really wants to know is how is the bird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Looming over everybody right now. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. I don't know how the bird is. I don't know. Put the bird under the tree. It was chirping for a little while. Came back and uh, hung out at the RV for a little bit. Went back and he was gone. So mm -hmm. he or she, whatever it was. Yeah. Hopefully it's okay. I hope so. Took a hard lick. Did take a hard lick. Took a hard know. lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the, the other one that hit, I'm assuming is okay. Just yeah, a, little, the first one. a little lighter. <laughs> Been pre impact. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dover's been super cool. Yes. Way cooler than what I thought it was going to be. Much. And uh, how much did we spend exploring in Dover? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Everything you saw in this video was completely free. Yeah. So. Uh, and there's there's more to do. There is. If we ventured. A little further out but we just didn't allow ourselves enough time yeah to hit those other cities yeah and to be honest we were so. really still recovering from the visit with the yeah. brazen brits we needed some downtime <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to chill a little bit more yeah so, so we just kicked around and did some of the free stuff and so it is very cool and interesting stuff though like yeah. the horseshoe crabs were really cool so so now they're i guess they're they're using some of the horseshoe crab blood to work on a vaccine for COVID. Oh, specifically? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just saw an article about that this morning. Oh, Sherry okay. actually sent it. Oh, is that what that? I hadn't read the article yet? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I knew they did other vaccine mm -hmm. studies and stuff on it. I didn't notice that recent. So if and when there is a vaccine, if you cool. get the vaccine, it was tested on horseshoe crabs first. Thank a horseshoe crab. <laughs> to make sure that there's no toxins and yeah craziness in there um we were a little disappointed that we didn't get to go inside the state capitol yeah that the website nice. said that, that you could yeah they didn't mark it as closed big shocker w website's not yeah. updated on places very nice on the outside but um, yeah very cute downtown mm -hmm. i like it a lot very cool mm -hmm. and then the um john dickinson plantation mm -hmm. Uh, you saw the, the grave there in the B-roll footage, which is uh, Samuel Dickinson, which yeah. was John's father, father, who moved the family to the plantation there. And um, actually, John Dickinson uh, was, was one of the very first people to free slaves. Yeah. He was doing it way before Civil War time frame. Yeah. Like, in the late 1700s, he was, he was freeing his slaves. Yeah. And, or employing them Employee. instead of them yeah. being uh, slaves. Mm -hmm. um, so very cool, like 5,000 acres out there on the Dickinson yeah, plantation. So you only get to see a little bit of that because I mean, most of it's just land. And marsh, they said. Yeah. And uh, so that was really cool. Um, we are going to be going on quite an adventure from here. Yeah. Which is why we could use a little rest. R and R. <laughs> yeah. So you have to stay tuned for next week because next week we are headed down to Virginia Beach area and we're going to have to cross the Chesapeake Bridge and Tunnel, mm -hmm. which is a clearance of 13 feet 6 inches. Our RV is 13 <laughs> feet 4 inches. So it's going to look like it's going to look like we're going to hit. Yeah. It's going to be quite scary. For you. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you know, and then you're in the, you're in the, in the truck, and then you duck. Like, that's going to do yeah. anything. Yeah. But you're going to duck. <laughs> I'm going to duck. <laughs> I already know you're going to duck. The other cool thing is that we got our new Amazon shop. Yes. We had the affiliate mm -hmm. link, and now we have our own shop. Mm -hmm. So all the cool... Makes things easier makes it a lot easier yeah yeah because when people ask us questions about the stuff we use and buy it's way easier to find a link yeah to share mm -hmm. and also we put in there everything that we buy and that we like and that yeah. we use so if you want to go and see what we like and what we use mm -hmm. 
Amazon. There's a link in the description of the video. It will take you right to our Amazon shop. Mm -hmm. Our brand spanking new Amazon shop. The fan camp has been cool. Yeah, it, we stayed at the Dover Air Force Base fan camp. Yeah. And there's only 10 spots here. Yeah. <laughs> and most of the time, there's been three or four right. RVs. Over the weekend, there were more. Yeah. It almost filled up over it the It almost weekend. filled up on Friday, but emptied out on Sunday. So. Yes, yeah, so we're back to like three or four RVs now. Yeah. Very quiet out here. We're by the airfield, so you can see the aircrafts coming in it's and out. It's been fun watching the planes. It, the scout didn't like it. No, not a fan. They're, to him, they're huge birds. birds coming for him. Yeah. <laughs> so every time one takes off, he's like, flattens, flattens out. himself out on the back of the couch. <laughs> he gets really freaked out. Yeah. But it's been fun to We've see We've enjoyed watch. watching them. Yeah. And, um, that's about it. That's about it. Cool. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.